Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. Today we're going to be going back into the Harbor Freight website and checking out the new tools that they've released over the last couple of weeks. I like to do these videos every two, three weeks and we'll just kind of discuss what's interesting. We're not going to go over sandpaper and all the things that they're constantly releasing, but we're going to go over a good portion of these items, kind of discuss what's actually new, what is pre-existing but new things added to them like the 34 inch six drawer full bank service cart over here that's just added colors so they now have the purple which i'm not gonna lie i find very appealing but pur purple isn't even really a color that i care for uh, but when i see it on these toolboxes and some of the other items that they've included it on it looks really good we'll just start at the top of the list and then we'll work our way down to where we ended the last video so First up is the Hercules 20 volt brushless cordless deep cut bandsaw. This is the tool only for $130. So this is a new item that they've added from Hercules, but they also, if you're not looking for a cordless version, they have released a corded version as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, we're not gonna go over all the product details. I'm not gonna read everything to you. If you'd like, you, could, you guys can pause and take a look at it. I'm not one that uses a tool like this, so unfortunately I can't give you my thoughts on it as far as you know it compared to possibly some other brands because it's not really a tool that I use, but I figured I'll show it to you anyways. We got sandpaper that we're not gonna discuss because they're constantly at it. I don't even know where, they've gotta have a whole room just for sandpaper with how much sandpaper they release. Like I showed you already earlier, this is the 34 by 23 inch six drawer full bank service card that they released you know maybe a year ago now really nice price points not quite what people were hoping for but honestly nothing's really the price that we want it to be anymore uh, but they've added some color options and that purple is one of the main ones that you're going to start seeing on some other items so i think that is a great addition to the color lineup i still think uh, a lot of the u.s general stuff is better priced than any other toolbox on the market when you compare it to, you know, Huskies and Milwaukee's and Cobalt's and Craftsman and U.S. General has a really good layout for a lot of their boxes, really good pricing compared to those other brands. And uh, it's one of the best bang for your bucks. Now, not all of them are like that, but a good portion of the U.S. General stuff is priced very well. Next up, we have a Doyle 2-inch heavy-duty adjustable pipe cutter for $70. A little bit spendy, but still more affordable than what you're going to find it. Uh, with other brands now as far as the durability that will only time will tell so it definitely looks like a pretty well-built tool I haven't had now I don't use a tool like this but I haven't had any issues with really any of the Doyle tools that I've owned or used so I think the Doyle lineups a pretty good option here they've added another color option for their foldable camping table these are decent there are some better ones on the market where you can actually get a hard top uh, which I prefer than, you know, setting stuff on a piece of cloth. But if you're looking to keep extremely lightweight and compact, it's not a bad option for $30. Next up, they've added the Quinn socket sets. They have the quarter inch down here, three eighths and half inch drive. I feel like half inch drive isn't going to be used quite as often. That'll probably be the least sold one, the quarter inch and three eighths, not just because it's the most expensive, but when it comes to half inch, a lot of the times when I'm using half inch, it's impact rated sockets, not necessarily chrome. It's not something that I look to have a huge lineup of chrome uh, sockets in, but still for that price, it looks like a pretty decent set at 83 pieces. But I think the quarter inch set and the three eighths set are going to sell very well. Other brands in the same quality range are going to be 10 to $30 more at least for sets this size. Uh, so I don't think this is a bad option at all. The SAE is gonna contain 5 30 seconds through 9 16 and four millimeter through 14 millimeter. I would like to see them start including that 15 millimeter. I know a lot of people really like and enjoy a 15 millimeter in their quarter inch uh, socket sets. You do get the 90 tooth ratchets, high visibility markings. Looks like a, almost like a gear wrench ratchet there as far as design actually looks really clean a lot better than uh what you see in their small compact sets that look identical to the pittsburgh i think this is a good upgrade and a great price for that 
So overall, you're going to get some a decent selection of both metric and SAE in shallow and deep with a couple extensions, a ratchet, a universal adapter, a bit driver with a bit adapter, and uh, a space almost like the Tecton cases where you have just empty space over here. You can put, you know, smaller bit ratchets, uh, other extensions, a small quarter inch breaker bar. Um, various little items that you may use and then it's all in one case easy to use easy to grab and go and then we'll just look at the 3 8 go over the coverage this is a 72 piece as far as coverage you're looking at quarter inch to one inch and six millimeter to 24 millimeter some some pretty decent coverage there and once again includes that 90 tooth ratchet and then the half inch drive, you're looking at an 83 piece set with coverage from 3 8 to 1 and 5 16 And then for the metric, you're looking at 10 millimeter to 32 millimeter. Now I can't say for sure what skips are going to be included or anything like that. It doesn't uh, actually give a specific as far as disregard that. It's all right here. So let's just quickly look at the metric. Surprising. Wow. Okay. So there are no skips in this set. They have 31, 27, 28, 29. I mean, it's a full set. I just want to double check the other sets to see if they are also the same way. It does look so. So I think for the price and the quality of product you're getting there, that Quinn socket sets and all three drive sizes are good options. I really think the quarter inch and three eighths are gonna sell very well. They have a new eight inch Drill press from Bauer for a hundred dollars. It's a five speed. The specifications on it here, you can just see some of the other options available at Harbor Freight. There's some of the information on it if you guys would like to pause and take a look at it. Getting into the big thing, they had released the Series 3 a little while back. So now it's available in the 56 inch instead of just being the 72 inch. So I know a lot of people that are going to be interested in it. This is at $900. The old one being at $600, so a price increase of $300, and not a whole lot has changed. Um, they've, you know, upgraded a couple items, but to justify that $300 price range, uh, really what they've done here is released a new product to you in order to justify the price increase. Because when these Series 2 come out, they're good priced and then inflation happens and they can't just go in and throw an extra 150 or 200 dollars on top of their toolbox at one time because people would freak out and nobody would buy them so what they've done here is they've thrown 50 dollars worth of upgrades onto a toolbox um, and offered it to you as a series three in order to justify the higher price range not that that's just how business works really especially when it comes to inflation <laughs> it makes people feel a little bit better about buying that product they're not buying the same old product for a higher price they're buying a new product so as you can see here i actually really like this layout it looks like they've changed it a little bit if you look at this up here compared to down here you got a dual drawer full length up top they've changed the smaller drawers over here on the side compared to what they used to be you have a lot less of the third width drawers and a lot more full length drawers, three quarter drawers. You can get the side cabinets and the top locker or the smaller drawer setups for the side. You do have a power drawer. I'm not gonna lie, I like these series three, even though you know it is quite a price increase, I think they've done a good job on them. Unfortunately, these prices are climbing, but I still think that's a decent deal. I mean, 56 inch, I have a 52 inch Husky flat black toolbox that I paid roughly $800 for seven eight years ago and granted this isn't uh, top and bottom this is just a bottom just its layout alone i believe i could fit just about as much as what my husky box does i also think this has a little bit more depth than my husky box here's some of the information on it if you guys would like to pause and take a look or you could go to the harbor freight website and check this out but it does include five 120 volt outlets usb a and usb c uh, slide support 120 pounds per pair full width drawers six inch casters so definitely some improvement i feel like there's more changes on this than there were on the 72 inch toolbox so here is the top chest for 600 the old one was 350 so this one is almost double the price uh, so 
Unfortunately, I, I don't like the pricing of this one at all. I think that maybe 500, but when the old one was now granted, this one has a top portion that opens, uh, you got a little bit more room in there. The same basic layout as the old design, not a whole lot of changes there. You just have this top locker portion there. You can see that. But if you bought the bottom and the top, it's a 56 inch box. That's $1,500. That's, that's a pretty hefty price range for a 56 inch box top and bottom. Uh, here's the work center hutch for $500. I think once again, this, these are about a hundred dollars over what they should be. Maybe this is just starting out price. Maybe we'll see the prices drop. I'm not sure. Hopefully we'll see the purple on this as well. I don't know if I would necessarily buy the purple, but I actually like the purple color on these boxes. <laughs> I think it looks really good, but slate gray and the white are my like favorites. So there are the three options for the new 56 inch series three. I think they're slightly overpriced. I think if they came down about a hundred dollars, they still have a decent markup from the old series two, but not so much that it's almost ridiculous. Uh, some carbide tips router bits for $50 from Bauer. They've been releasing quite a bit of the router bits. Uh, these types of bits can get quite expensive. Um, so while this isn't like necessarily cheap, it's a lot better than what it could be. It just depends on how much you're going to be using these. Then you have some steel vehicle dollies. Very handy to have. They have a couple different designs. These ones are $80 and support 2,500 pounds. Uh, so not too bad and still affordable compared to a lot of the other ones that range a couple hundred to a few hundred dollars for a set. And then here we see the purple available in the Daytona 3-ton, which I think looks really good. I think it was a good choice in color options, the red, orange, yellow, and purple. I think that purple, even though it's like dark, it's... Uh, still like a high vis color it's still got a nice depth to it that really makes it stand out 289 we've seen the prices of the jacks obviously everything prices have increased but we've been seeing the prices of the jacks go up quite a bit over the last couple years and here is the corded version i was talking about earlier of the bandsaw from hercules for 170 dollars if you don't want to go with the cordless and that's really where we ended the or started the video last time on the Harbor Freight website. So quite a bit of new items, color options added, uh, more available for the series three from us general drill press, Quinn socket sets, decent upgrades on those new color option for the full bank service cart and a couple of bandsaws. So some, some good items, some okay pricing on some of the items. Let me know your guys thoughts on that us general series three, when it comes to the 56 inch, and the prices for it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on everything and what you may or may not consider. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.